Etrachan saw it. I'm Yuri. This story is about the shirt I'm holding. It all started when I was in high school. Oh, what's up, Katsura? Ah, I'm just here to see Yuri. Ooh, steamy. Hey, Yuri! Your boyfriend is calling you! What's up, Katsura-kun? I finally finished that thing, so could you come and see? Yeah! Woo! At this time, Katsura-kun was my boyfriend. I took regular classes, but there was a clothing department at our school, and Katsura-kun was a part of it. Go head on in. Wow, it's so beautiful! I had a bit of trouble with the embroidery, so it took some time to finish. Do you mind trying it on? Not at all! Finished! Uh, how is it? <gasps> yep, just as I thought. Super cute! R really? Yeah, yeah. Do you like it? I like it a lot! Thanks, Katsura-kun! You're welcome. One of Katsura-kun's parents work in the fashion industry, and he wanted to become a designer as well. When we started dating, he sewed this shirt for me. I had such a kind boyfriend. My high school life was full of happiness, but... The happiness didn't last long. Eh? You're going overseas? Yeah. My parents have acquaintances there. And I've always thought about studying fashion there, too. But... We'd be so far apart. I'm still unsure of what to do. <sighs> I see. Isn't this a great opportunity? You should definitely go! Yuri! I totally think you can do well over there! You're a hard worker, and you have a great sense! It's a great place you should study! <sighs> Don't worry about me! Just do your best, Katsura-kun! I'll be cheering you on from the shadows! Yuri, thanks. I'm really sorry. In all honesty, I didn't want him to go, but if I held him back, I was scared I might ruin his future. That's why we should end it gracefully, and break up in order for me to give him that push. He thought about staying with me till the end, but... I would just be a burden while he's trying to have a fresh start overseas. That's what I thought. So, it's been three years since I've broken up with Katsura-kun. Alright, time to declutter. I don't need this. I'll keep this. Hmm, I'll think about this one. Ah, uh, there it is. Yuri! Yuri-chan! I wonder how he's doing. I was so happy back then. I can still wear it, but it makes my heart ache. It's not good to hold on to the past like this. I can't just throw it away. What do I do? I called my friend Karin from high school for some advice. Oh, if that's the case, I have a great solution. Eh? Really? Yep, there's a project going on in my college where you can donate clothes you don't need to developing countries overseas. If you can't bear to keep it or throw it away, Giving it to someone else to wear is best, no? I see! That might work! So I took the shirt that Katsura-kun gave me, and decided to hand it over to someone who needs it. Thanks for everything. I hope you're worn by a good person. I added a note, together with the shirt. I wrote my wish in English. I handed over my box of clothes. And five years had passed by. But... Yuri-san? I like you. Will you go out with me? Hiraki-kun, even though I gave up the clothes... I'm sorry. I need to focus on work right now. I couldn't proactively start a new relationship. At that time... Huh? Karin? Hello? What's up, Karin? Uh, Yuri! I have something I want to talk to you about. Can we meet up this week? Hmm? Yeah, sure. Days later. Look at this magazine! What about it? Look at the person they interviewed! Look closely! Uh, isn't this... the shirt Katsura-kun made? I know it! That detailed embroidery! There's only one design like that in the world! No doubt about it! That's the shirt that Katsura-kun made me! I see! It got sent all the way to this person! Yep, make sure to read the interview article too. <gasps> Written here a conversation about the shirt. When she was poor, the girl in the picture received the shirt from a Japanese volunteer. A message was attached saying, sending happiness to you, and she wore the shirt every day joyfully. The girl and the shirt spent their time together, and she was able to realize her dream of becoming a doctor. And the last
Aspid says, To the previous owner of the shirt, I am praying for your happiness. That's great! Such a lovely person is wearing the shirt! Mm-hmm. Hey, Yuri. You still like Katsurakun, right? <gasps> it's not like you broke up because you hated each other. Yeah. Even though it's been eight years since we broke up, I feel silly. <laughs> no, it's not like that. Yuri, you should be happy. So then... That was three days ago. Hmm? Is that Kari? <gasps> eh? Katsurakun? I hadn't contacted him in eight years! That Katsurakun... He has surprised me. So he came back to Japan. Yeah. I worked overseas but got transferred to the Japanese branch. I work as a designer for the Etra group. I see. Actually, Karin told me about the shirt. Eh? Karin did? Yeah. She contacted me just a while ago. Uh, I'm sorry. Even though you made it for me, I... It's fine. I would have done the same thing if I was you. At that time... You broke up with me to give me a push in the right direction. That's what I always thought, but... <sighs> Am I wrong? Yuri, why don't we get back together? <gasps> Katsurakun! I dated a few people since then, but I couldn't get you out of my head. I hope you can forgive my selfishness. This time, I will definitely make you happy. <laughs> okay. So the eight-year gap has passed, and we became lovers again. We've been together for two years, and have gotten married and have a kid. Tsutsuji's asleep! Thanks, Katsurakun! Okay, guess I'll get started on Tsutsuji's dress for her piano recital. Oh! Is that what that beautiful sakura pink fabric was for? Yep, I'll make you a skirt to match. No matter how many years pass, I love him after all. If Karin hadn't told Katsurakun about the shirt, we probably wouldn't have ran into each other. Thanks, Katsurakun! I love you! <laughs> even though I don't own it anymore, that shirt has certainly given me joy, and even now I think of it as a shirt of happiness. I'm Karin. My husband passed away before me, and now I'm living in Etra Town by myself. Mom, wanna come live with us soon? Yuri's worried about you, and isn't it inconvenient to get groceries over there? What are you talking about? I'm not that old yet! Your stubbornness hasn't changed. Anyways, apparently someone got scammed in Etra Town recently, so be careful. Uh, yeah. It was actually Susuji san that got scammed. What? Susuji san Right! And it was a dirty way! The typical method everyone's familiar with is when the scammer calls the victim pretending to be their son, saying, It's me, Mom, me. The scammers are now coming up with all sorts of tricks. A month ago. Yes? Hello? Hello? This is the Etra Prefectural Police. What? Etra Prefectural Police? Um, how can I help you? Please, stay calm and listen to me. We have reasons to believe that your account is being used for criminal activity. What? We recently arrested a group of scammers, and one member from the group told us that they were using your account. Oh my. We need to deactivate your account immediately, so please, give us your account details. Absolutely. Also, do you plan to be home today? Yes! Alright, we'll be on our way there now, so please have your bank book ready. Yes, understood! Oh my gosh! I better get ready! Fifteen minutes later, the scammer arrived wearing a police uniform. Our friend Susuji san handed her bank book with 800,000 yen in the account. Wow, that must have been a shock. Luckily, it was only her savings account, so she got away rather lightly. But she was still down about it. You better not fall for it. Even if they call saying I got into an accident, or getting falsely accused of molestation, don't you believe it? I'm fine. I have someone reliable that can back me up. <laughs> hey, Mom. Do you have an evil look on your face? No, not at all. Are you sure? And then six months flew by without any incidents. Must be Kuroki. I'll be right there. Hello? Yes. Hello? This is the Etra Prefectural Police speaking. What? Etra Prefectural Police? What happened? Are my kids in an accident? No, they're fine. Please, 
Stay calm and listen to me. We have reasons to believe that your account is being used for criminal activity. What? What is this? We need to deactivate your account immediately, so please give us your account details. This is a scam! It's the same exact method. Be the same man that scams the Suji son? Just the thought of that is boiling me up. We'll be on our way there now, so please have your bank book ready. Understood. It's the account from OX Bank, am I correct? Yes. The bank account is in my name. In fact, I made it for my son and his wife, so I don't have the bank book with me. Whoa, I also whoa, forgot whoa, the pin whoa, number. Whoa. I'm sorry, but could you ask my son and his wife? I'll give you their phone number. Pain in the ass. All right, I understand. The number is 090- I then gave the scammer a particular phone number. A son and his wife? The elderly would have been easier to fool. <sighs> Um, could it be that the deposits have all been withdrawn? I have about 30 million yen in that account. What if it's all been stolen? 30 million yen? Is that so? 30 million yen? <laughs> His tone changed right when I told him the amount. Don't believe that scammers are the only ones who can deceive people. A few minutes later... Yes, hello? Ah, hello. This is the Etra Prefectural Police speaking. We've heard from your mother. And so, we would like you to cooperate. Understood. I will get the bank book ready right away. Please use the address I've given you. Yes? Ah, please. Got him! 30 minutes later. Yes, this is the one. Yes? This is the Etra Prefectural Police. Ah, please. Are you the one that called a little while ago? Yes, I'm here to collect your bank book. Here it is. Thank you. Yes! 30 million yen! 30 million in the bank! I will be in touch with you soon. That's all for today. Ow! Look where you're going! Don't move! Police! What? Uh, what? Ha! Huh. Barging into an ex-cop's house. What an idiot. What? You're under arrest for fraud! What? The owner of the phone number I gave to the criminal was not my son, Kuroki. It was Tachibana-san, a former police officer who retired this year. And so the criminal was caught and the case was solved. You're kidding me! God damn it! Shut your mouth! Karin-san, thanks for your cooperation. No! Thank you so much, Tachibana-san! In fact, since the Suji-san's case, in order to avoid becoming a victim, I had gone over countermeasures that could be taken with Tachibana-san, who happened to be one of my neighbors. If something happens, if something happens, give them my phone number. Thank you so much! Unaware of this fact, the criminal tried fooling the real cop by pretending to be one. <laughs> it feels good! Tsuji, I avenged you! What? R really? Thanks, Karin. <laughs> I could have simply whoa, called whoa, the police. Whoa, whoa but I was concerned because the person I was dealing with was a criminal after all. And there was a possibility that the police wouldn't get there in time. It appears that this was the right course of action. What are the chances a scammer calls your parents' place? I'm so glad you're okay. Yeah, I knew it was a scammer right away. Now we know your mother will be safe even if she gets another scammer on the phone. I've <laughs> learned from this incident that you're more capable than I thought. So please stop treating me like such an elderly lady. But when they first told me they were the police, I was immediately worried about the kids. If they had said, your family has been in an accident, who knows what would have happened. This incident made me realize the importance of staying calm under any situation. I'm Kuroki. This is a story back when I was in my early 20s. My house was in the countryside an hour away from the city. I lived with my parents and my grandmother from my father's side. My grandmother, who was 80 years old, was very healthy and energetic for her age. I'll be home before dinner! You're kidding! After working in the farm all day, she would go to the city with her friends and enjoy a game of gateball. That's how powerful she was. Grandma is a monster! I don't think I can do that when I'm 80. She's always been like that. Yeah, no one can beat her. Your grandma even had an encounter with a bear before you were born. Legend has it that the bear ran away when she raised her sickle to scare it off. 
What? How have I never heard about that? I, on the other hand... Oh no! I forgot to buy this week's comic! Ugh. It's them. I don't like them. They always loiter around and leave a bunch of trash. Just gotta hurry home. Look at that guy! He's reading little boy comics even though he's an adult! I can't stand childish guys like that either. <laughs> you never know. That could be a camouflage for adult magazines. God damn it! What's wrong with an adult buying comics? I am the opposite of a grandmother with a small heart. Those kids that are loitering around the convenience store. The other day, they left an empty can on the ground, so I warned them, but they ran away. Stop littering! Shut up, old lady! They have no discipline! Grandma can confront those guys as well. Wow. And one day, my grandma was walking home with three of her gateball buddies. What's that noise? Be quiet! Yeah, you bastard! Gotcha! Oh, the ashtray is full. Okay, let me throw it out. There we go. Oh no! It's these days! Ouch! Ow! My eyes! Oh, me! You alright? Oh shit! I think I hit that grandma with the ashtray! You serious? Wait, it's that old lady from the other day! What are we gonna do? That's pretty messed up. Let's run! Hurry, hurry! They're running away! What? Go down the plate number! Yeah! They took memo of the license plate number as Grandma instructed. Grandma immediately went to see a local ophthalmologist. Don't worry, we've cleaned up all the ash so you don't have to worry about it anymore. Thankfully, she was wearing glasses, so she was saved from the worst case scenario. Later that evening... We apologize. apologize. The four delinquents, identified by their license plate numbers, all came to apologize. Uh, um, I'm sorry. It wasn't on purpose. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It was windy that day, so it flew further than I expected. You idiot! Why are you making such a lame excuse for yourself, you idiot? If you feel you've done something wrong, don't run away and apologize first. Grandma? Maybe that's enough. You shut your mouth! Yes, ma'am. And what's more, you throw cigarette butts in the street without a care in the world! Come to think of it, you all had bad manners even at the convenience store! You think you're being cool? I'm telling you, you're all so bored, I can't even begin to explain! <laughs> Sorry! Oh, Why are you all? Leave that other time! Grandma continued to scold them for another hour. But in the end... Don't do something this that again. Am I clear? Yes, ma'am. We're really sorry. The four completely gave in to her. Ever since then, those four were able to reform. They started working seriously, and we continue to send each other New Year's cards to this day. Five years have passed since that incident. Grandma... You were mad at them as if they were your children. You were as fearless as ever, weren't you? Yeah, I probably wouldn't have told the cops either, much less having the idea of jotting down the plate numbers with your eyes busted. Yeah, Grandma, I gotta take a few notes from you. You're right. What are you three babbling about? Lunch break is over. Come on, let's get moving. Yes, ma'am. At 85 years old, Grandma is still the healthiest in our family. By the way, she took that picture in advance to use as a portrait when she passes. I thought I'd take a picture while my skin looks good. Aren't I a sweetheart? I'm Yuri. I'm about to ride the bullet train to go see my family. It's been so long since I've gone home. I wonder how Tara is doing. What? Ah, oh, there it is. Um, 13D. 13D. Huh? What do you think you're doing here? What do you think you're doing here? Would you kindly get up and leave, please? That's my seat. Huh? What are you on about? This is my seat, you idiot! Oh no, an argument! Wait. Is that also my seat? What do you think seat? you're doing here? Ah, Time to make me get up out of my seat. What should I do? There's no way three people could have the same seat. Uh, um, excuse me? That's also my seat, actually.
actually. Oh, you too? Yeah, how about we each take a look at our tickets? Yes, of course. Hey, hurry up and show yours. Huh? The only idiots here are you guys. I'm not moving, all right? Jeez. Well, let's just compare our tickets first. You're right. <laughs> Three, two, one, go! Oh! That letter means you'll be sitting in the window seat. Huh? Oh, you're right. But, but I think you're in the wrong car. Huh? Oh, dear. You're right. After checking properly, it seemed we were the mistaken ones. So, so this, this person, person was, was right, right all along. along. Hmm. I told you, didn't I? This is why I can't stand women. Thank you for everything. I shall take my leave now. Uh, thank you so much as well. That granny. Not even an apology, huh? Hmm. <sighs> um, excuse me. Can I please get to my seat? Ah, uh, can't you just walk through? Huh? Am I really going to be sitting next to this guy for the next couple hours? <laughs> Nice ass. Accepting my fate, I sat down in my seat. Ugh, but... Ah, good stuff. Hey, you want to try some? No, thank you. The man kept bothering me. <sighs> there we go. Yo, what are you getting up? Wanna exchange numbers? Give me a break. No, I can't do this anymore. There's no way I can stand staying next to this person. Hey, girl, how you doing? What's your name? Mine's Akamatsu. The ah in Akamatsu is ah for Akamatsu. The ka in Akamatsu is ka for Akamatsu's handsome. The ma in Akamatsu is ma for Akamatsu's super handsome. The Tsu in Akamatsu is Tsu for Tsukihimi Burger. <laughs> Do you like burgers? I like burgers, but I'm more interested in you. <laughs> Just kidding. You want to eat burgers with me next time? I actually went to McDonald's last time. And I began to lose my sanity. Next station is Etra Station. Etra Station. Hey, come on. Tell me your measurements. I'll tell you my measurements if you do. Hey. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> That's my seat you're sitting in. A new passenger had boarded. What are you on about? This is my seat! Hmm, what the hell are you on about? Take a look. Huh? But the car and seat numbers are correct. What? Well, I ain't wrong either, you idiot. Look at this. Huh. Isn't that the train after this one? Oh. Oh, no! Seems like this menace had made a mistake as well. Now get the hell out! Egg. Hmm. Hey. <laughs> it's your mess. Clean it up. Yes, sir! Also, apologize to your neighbor. You were bothering her, weren't you? <laughs> uh, of course not! <laughs> uh... Huh? Weren't you the one who mentioned measurements earlier? I... I'm so sorry! Ah! What a jerk. You okay, miss? Ah, uh, yes, I'm fine. Um, thank you so much for telling him off. Uh, no worries. Thank goodness. He looks scary but seemed like a good person. Oh, um, you have tape stuck to your shirt. Oh? Huh? Oh! Thanks, miss. I just bought this shirt. <laughs> Look, he was quite a gentleman and chatted with me until it was time to get off. I'm going to see my pregnant daughter. Aww. I thought he was done for, but I'm glad that person came to the rescue. Hmm? That's the person from before. Um, excuse me. Ah, it's you. So that man did get a seat wrong, didn't he? <laughs> huh? Why do you? He moved to my car after a while. He was asking the conductor if he could buy a new seat, so I assumed someone told him to leave. Huh? <laughs> 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 you see? Ah, I see. If 
only he wasn't so stubborn and checked his ticket with us. What an idiot. <laughs> Although what had happened, I managed to return home safely. I'm back! My train ride was a disaster! Oh, did something happen? I'm not sure what happened to the man afterwards, but I hope this teaches him to follow manners in public from now on. The end. I'm Azumi, a junior in high school. Ah, welcome back, Azumi! My mother is very pretty and looks young for her age. A timeless beauty, if you will. My father is a man of few words, who I rarely ever see at home because of his job. At a glance, we seem like just an ordinary family. But my mother has a secret. It was back when I was a preschooler. Coming! Oh! Hello! Akamatsu-kun! I was waiting for you! I couldn't wait to see you, Akane-san! Did you get a tan? Yeah, I started surfing recently. Uh, I also wanted to see you, Azami-chan. Here, give me a hug. Huh? Huh? A man I didn't know suddenly entered our house. What's the next time you can drop by? Hmm, maybe next month. All right, I'll prepare a feast. Okay, thanks. He seemed unnaturally close with my mother. From then on, the man named Akamatsu often joined us on road trips and for meals. But, let's eat! How was it today? Hmm, it was pretty fun. My mother never spoke the name Akamatsu in front of my father. Hmm, meeting occasionally, a close relationship, and a secret to my father. Hmm, I bet my mom is cheating on my dad with that Akamatsu person. Hmm. This eventually became my assumption. After growing up and understanding how terrible adultery was, Azumi, let's go eat barbecue with the three of us! <sighs> huh? Azumi? I simply couldn't stand my mother anymore. As for Akamatsu... Say cheese! Hmm. I viewed him as a creep who stole my mother. But once I started middle school, they started to only meet a couple times a year. However, my dislike towards them never faded, even now. As my university applications awaited, Azumi, I'm gonna go shopping, so is there anything you want to eat today? Uh, no. I despise my mother. Oh. Azumi, did you decide on which university you want to apply to? Etra University. Huh? Etra University? That's in a different prefecture, which means you'll be living in a dorm. Hmm. We don't have the money for that. Is there anywhere closer that you're interested in? I'm leaving because I don't want to see your face. I want to go to Etra. Hmm? If your grades aren't good enough to get a scholarship, then you'll have to get a loan. So, I have to be in debt? Yeah, basically, if you're going to Etra. But a loan... If we don't have any money, why can't we just grab some consolation from this adulterous woman and her cheating partner? It's only just for betraying Dad and me for so long, right? Huh? huh? What are you talking about, Asami? Yeah, I would never. Shut up! You're shameless! You've always been playing around with that Akamatsu person right in front of my face! If you two have any decency, why don't you show it with some money? Oh. oh. Um, Akamatsu could? Yes! Uh, listen, Azami. Akamatsu is my younger brother. Huh? You see, Akamatsu is my stepbrother, who was born after my mother remarried. So there's no adultery going on. N no, but... Mom never talked about Akamatsu in front of you! Nor did the four of us ever meet up! Um, actually... I could never get used to Akamatsu's light-hearted attitude, even before marrying your mom. Yeah! But he and Akane became close, and he always loved meeting you, his niece. Yeah! So I told them to meet up whenever they want. Your grandma remarried a foreigner, which is where Akamatsu comes from. Ah, and when you were around five years old, Akamatsu-kun came back to Japan. He was teaching me English back then. What's up? I'm good. When you were around 12, Akamatsu-kun had to fly back, which is why you haven't really seen him since then. 
Come to think of it, I do remember them speaking in a language I didn't understand. <gasps> but, but the two of you were hugging each other so much! That's just a way of greeting people overseas. <sighs> he was taking so many pictures of me! Best to show your grandma her granddaughter! Plus, we were always with you until you returned to your room. Did you ever see us do anything suspicious? Huh? She's right. It's true I always saw them together. But I've never seen them do anything definitive. Oh. I see. It was all just a misunderstanding. I thought ill of you both without knowing. Azumi, I'm sorry. I never realized you thought of us that way. I thought I explained to you back then that he was my brother. I don't remember that! I'm sorry! I'm so sorry! I kept thinking Mom was... No worries. Sorry I confused you so much. But we're okay. I'm still head over heels for your dad, and we still go on secret dates from time to time. Yep. Azumi, I'm sorry too. From now on, I'll make things right with Akamatsu. <laughs> okay. Afterwards, as promised, Dad apologized to Akamatsu on the phone and repaired their relationship. He also told him about me. So yeah, seems like there was a huge misunderstanding because of me. Sorry about that. I'm so sorry. Ah, it's okay, it's okay. So long as it's all solved. Luckily, he was also a good person and forgave me. Azumi, by the way, about Etra University. Ah, uh, it's okay. I'll switch my application to somewhere I can attend from home. I'll tell my teacher tomorrow. Oh, uh, okay. Phew. I ended up causing the terrible ruckus because of a misunderstanding. But it helped me learn that I shouldn't bottle up my worries and should instead ask or talk about it with the people around me. Good morning. I'm Yuri, a fresh company recruit. I'll need you and Akamatsu-kun to join me today to sell our new product to a longtime partner company. Okay. Uh, well, that's if Akamatsu-kun makes it on time. Yeah, I have a co-worker named Akamatsu-kun, but every day he comes to work late, despite only having worked here for two months. Ah, my bad. <laughs> my alarm clock was busted this morning. Again? Sorry. Why not just use your phone's alarm? Well, I honestly can't hear my phone's alarm for some reason. <laughs> really? You do nothing but make excuses. Do you have any awareness of being an adult? What? I said I couldn't wake up. Ain't nothing I could do about it. How do you have that kind of attitude when you're at a sales company? Let's cool it down, Karin-san. Have you bought a new clock? Yep, I've been busy. All right, no worries. I bought you a clock with an extra loud alarm. What? Ah, thanks, man. You should say thank you at times like this. Gotcha. He really is Katsura the Saint. He's too kind. Hey, Katsura-kun, don't spoil him like that. I know, Karin-san. Akamatsu-kun, in exchange, make sure to arrive on time starting tomorrow. The next time you're late, I will have to report it to the higher-ups. All right, understood. <sighs> He's definitely doing it again. As you can see, He's been protected by Katsura Senpai for a while. It's not a clock, but here's your present. Uh, thank you so much! Feel free to have some when you're hungry. But... So this dog's actually retarded! He's been biting on his own tail! Akamatsu-kun? But... I can see your nose hair. Akamatsu-kun?! Uh... Akamatsu-kun?! He ignored his senpai's kindness and never improved his attitude. He's late again. It's been an hour too. A new record. When do you think he'll show up? I don't care. I'm never assigning him jobs in the morning. Good morning. My bad. Who would have thought my clock would be busted again? My parents usually wake me up, but they were gone for some reason. <laughs> Akamatsu-kun, what about the clock I gave you? Is it broken as well? Huh? Uh, right, yeah. That one's also busted. What? Why? It hasn't even been a week! Why do your clocks break so easily? Um... I hate the sound of alarms, you see? I end up chucking them at the wall in the morning when I'm frustrated. <laughs> huh? Oh! Man, the alarm on that clock you gave me was absolutely atrocious! Uh, uh. I 
Mattel already smashed it the day after I got it. <sighs> I see. That's too bad. Please talk with your parents about buying a new clock or making sure they wake you up every day. Gotcha. Sorry about that. <laughs> Katsuru Senpai, are you fine without scolding him about the clock? You gave that to him as a gift to help him improve. Yep, no worries. It was a gift, so I have no say on what he does with it. I was hoping he'd start arriving earlier, though. Senpai, he's such a saint. Hmm? Here you go. I only just entered the workforce, but I can tell how lucky I was meeting someone as kind as him. I hope akamatsu can realizes how lucky he is as well. However, this wish was left unrequited because an incident happened that even Senpai couldn't cover for. Hello? This is Etra Corporation speaking. Ah, right, right. You're Tokusa-sama. Uh, is that me? Name's Akamatsu. Uh, Katsura-senpai oh, no. isn't is he here good? right now. Huh? A message? Uh, writing it down's a pain, so... Please call again. We're terribly sorry, Tokusa-sama. Yes, yes. Our deepest apologies. Yes, yes. You're absolutely correct. We'll make sure to correct him properly. Yes, yes, we're truly sorry. I'll send him the message. Jeez, what's the big deal? What? What did you just say? It's because of the way you answered that call! Huh? What's your problem? You're new here too. Oh yeah, but... <sighs> just shut up! Stop acting so high and mighty! Ah! Hakamatsu! Cut the crap! Just what on earth are you thinking? Apologize to Yuri right now! What? It's her fault for acting like she's better than me! And it's on you for grabbing my phone in the first place! What did you just say? What? What happened? Senpai! Um... After explaining what had happened... I see... Akamatsu-kun? Karin-san took over because of how poor your response was. Uh... -huh. A thank you would have been great, but complaining is unacceptable. And raising your voice to intimidate a woman? Don't you feel ashamed of yourself as a man? Please, apologize to Yuri-san and Karin-san! <clears throat> I trusted that Senpai would never yell at me. But you're no different from the rest of them! <clears throat> I'm in a terrible mood, so I'm heading home. Akamatsu-kun! At this rate, you'll be fired! Yeah, yeah, bluffing as always. I know, I know. Uh, we kept trying to talk to him about his future, but he refused to hear any of it. Eventually, even Katsura Senpai took an intimidating persona. At the end of June, the beginning of his third month at the company. Morning! 30 minutes late. He really doesn't care anymore, does he? Uh, Akamatsu-kun, you'll be receiving a form from the personnel division today. But let's talk for a bit before that, shall we? Huh? Nah, I'm good. I'm super tired from drinking till midnight yesterday. Uh. Huh? What? Huh? What's up? You won't have to come here from now on. Huh? Hey, hey, why's that? Don't worry, I'll come to work. I'm telling you not to come to work. You'll be receiving a notice. You're fired. What? It was only natural, but it was judged that his attitude had a negative effect on his co-workers, and he was fired three months into his trial period. But why? Did you not try to stop them? I arrived at this conclusion after carefully analyzing you these past months. Being inexperienced can't be helped, you just have to learn. But I couldn't sense any signs that you were trying to improve from your mistakes. All you did was make excuses! Uh. I don't mind giving people the benefit of the doubt, but you'd be wrong to think you'll still be forgiven after the number of warnings we've given you. I only pray that you'll be able to learn from the experience you've gained here. No! I honestly thought it was a joke! Please don't fire me! You're too late. Why? How did he expect not to get fired after all that? As such, he was even abandoned by the saintly Katsura-senpai. You'd think he'd try to change himself if he'd been given that much kindness! There was nothing to be done if he ignored and even spat on that kindness. But you spoiled him too much! Make sure to tone it down the next time you get a similar case. Yeah, 
I'll keep that in mind. After that, an older woman entered to fill the slots left by Akamatsu-kun. Luckily, she was a great person, and it quickly lightened up the office atmosphere. I don't know what Akamatsu-kun's been up to, but I hope he realized Katsura-san's kindness and reformed his ways. Thank you for coming. Excuse me, isn't this process expiration date? Uh, I'm deeply sorry. I'll get you a different one. Akamatsu-kun? A moment. I told you to send this, didn't I? Why hasn't it arrived yet? Ah, uh, I'm sorry. Hmm? Uh, I forgot. Hmm? Akamatsu, stop messing around! Can't you see the line in front of the register? I'll head there now. Damn it, if only I'd know better. Why didn't I try to stick to cancer sons? Honestly, you what's taking you so long about this? to do. Damn it! I'm Yuzuria. Thank goodness the sale was going on. I bought so many clothes. Glad you found what you were looking for. I'll hold some. I'm a housewife living with my husband and two children. I'm so happy they had a one piece like Princess Edgerton's. I also got what I wanted from the Gashapon machine. Oh my, yes sir, yes son. <sighs> oh no. Hello there. What a coincidence. Shopping with your family, I assume. Hello, Azumi-san. Yes, we were out in town to shop. Oh my, shopping? How nice! Hey, come on, could you share any of that? Hmm. Hey, come on. This annoying lady is Azumi-san, our neighbor. Since you bought so many things, there must be something you can give away, right? She targets people returning from shopping to leech off of their purchases. There's, There's nothing! nothing. Really? Then could you hand me some old clothing if you have any? Uh... You must have something. A majority of her clothing includes giveaways from neighbors. I promise I'll give you if I'll find any. Ah, sorry, we're in a rush, so goodbye. Let's go. Well, see you again. I look forward to what you find. To think we'd run into Azami-san on the way back. I know, right? She isn't causing any trouble other than leeching off of her stuff, but it is quite bothersome. Hmm? Oh dear! Pakira isn't looking good! Oh, you're right! Was there not enough water? The soil isn't dry, so that's not it. Oh! Then I'll buy some plant vitalizers at a store next time. Alright. Thanks. A few days later... <laughs> managed to buy plenty thanks to a discount they were doing. But I might have bought a bit too much. <laughs> yes, sorry, your son. Back from shopping? <gasps> well, yes. I was just at a home improvement store. Oh my, a home improvement store? Very nice. Could you please share some of what you bought? Here we go again. Well, the thing is, I only bought vitalizers today. Oh my. Oh my. How naughty! You two are still young, but you're already using that stuff! <laughs> what? <laughs> There's no need to be shy. I'll keep it a secret between us two. Huh? Oh, by the way, would that also work on my husband? <gasps> Boy, is she? Oh my! Tell me. I'll keep it a secret, so could you share me some too? Confusing vitalizers with aphrodisiacs? Please, my husband's getting old and doesn't have the energy. Well, yes, of course. I have plenty, so here you go. Oh my, thank you so much. Ha <laughs> ha So how well does this work? <laughs> Oh, you have no idea. No matter how much it's drooping, it'll straighten up in an instant. Extra energize. Oh, my! Thank you. I'll try it out tonight. No worries. It's quite effective, so please be careful. <laughs> Serves you right. That night. Hello, dear. Ah, uh, what's up? I brought some special goods today. Here you go. It's very effective. <laughs> so use it slowly. Got it. 
All right, let's get going. Azami, try to keep up till morning. Of course, my dear. <laughs> What's with the weird laugh? Hmm, it's nothing. I knew that substance wasn't damaging to the body even if swallowed. Oh, so you just have to drink some water afterwards. Not that I'm drinking it, though. Well, there is no way they'd drink all of it considering how awful it must taste. <laughs> Next morning. See you later. See you later! Excuse me, Azuria-san! <sighs> oh, hi, Azumi-san. What's your problem? What on earth is this? My husband threw up and it doesn't have any effect either! Is this really a vitalizer? Huh? Oh dear. You made your husband drink that? <laughs> huh? But it's a vitalizer for plants. Huh? What? For plants? Didn't I tell you? No matter how much it's drooping, it'll straighten up in an instant. Uh, um. Oh my. Asami-san, did you really mistake a vitalizer for an aphrodisiac? Why, you... You confused me! <laughs> Serves you right. Hey, hey, what happened? Spill the beans, what did Asami-san do? Tell me, too. Asami-san's aphrodisiac incident instantly became the talk of the town. I guess even Asami-san was embarrassed by that, as she never bothered anyone else for their purchases. Hello. Hello. Ah, so that's what it was. Yeah. But isn't that going a bit too far? It was pretty dangerous. Really? Who would have thought they'd actually drink it? Well, that's true. In what world would a housewife tell a neighbor that they bought a huge stock of aphrodisiacs anyways? Also, the biggest victim of this incident is definitely Azumi-san's husband, so I do feel bad for him. Yo, yo, Akamatsu! You take a swing today? Down it like that? Please don't! Sorry. My name is Tsuchi. This is a story from when I was in elementary school. One day, as I was walking home... Hey! Huh? Hey? Hey, you! Hey! Come over here! Looky here! Look! Come on! It's a doggy! Come over here! Let's play! A strange woman suddenly came running after me. I'm telling you to come! Come here! She's so scary! What do I do? Get over here! Hey! Wait! Wait! I'm so scared! I wasn't thinking about anything else. I was just terrified of the strange lady coming after me. I went home and told my mom everything. The strange woman with a dog came after you? Yeah, she was so frightening. I ran as fast as I could. Hmm, are you talking about Miss Azami from 2nd Street? Miss Azami? I don't know her. Well, she has a golden retriever. Yeah? And glasses? Uh-huh. And she always wears her purple hair in a bun. Uh, that's her! I knew it. She's a little strange. She doesn't have many friends. She's not good at communicating with people. Tsutsuji, don't talk to her even if you see her on the streets, okay? We don't know what she'll do. Okay, I got it. I promised my mother, so I decided to take different streets on my way home from school. A few days later. See you, Suzuki. Bye! Okay, see you tomorrow. Uh... What should I do? I need to go to the bathroom. If I turned back and took the original course, I would be able to reach my house way faster than the path I was taking now. I don't want to go all the way back to school. Miss Azami, will she be there? Oh, no. I can just run fast. Oh my gosh, I can barely hold it in. And so, I've decided to take the risk. Hey! Oh no, it can't be. I can't. I have to pee really badly. Over here. Come here. Hey. It's her. Come
Come over here now. I'll let you touch the dog. Here. Don't you want to touch the dog? Uh, her face is terrifying. I can't do this right now. I gotta pee. Uh. Oh. Burrow. Oh. Go. Woo. Are you kidding me? It's chasing me! No! He's getting closer by the second! No! Huh? What? Let go, you stupid dog! Huh? Hey! Let go of me, dog! Um... Huh? What is that man doing there? You... I saw you, you freak! Give me that camera now! Uh, help me! Uh, Hand it over, you creepy pedophile! Um, Go, uh, Stop more. it! Hey, hey! What is this? What's going on? Thank God you're here! This is the guy! Uh. This creepy pedophile was taking pictures of that little girl! Uh. Uh, what? He's been following her. I've seen him before. That's not true. I was just taking pictures of the scenery. Hmm. All right, then. How about we check your camera data? That'll sort everything out. Uh, well, isn't that invasion of privacy? Uh, I would appreciate if you could hand it over. That way, we can check what's on your camera roll. And if you're innocent, you're free to go. Uh... Here. Inside the camera were countless photos of me, all taken without consent. Uh huh. Well, well, well. So this is scenery? Uh, uh no, this is. I didn't mean to. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't mean to? A pathetic excuse. No. Uh. Ow! Stop running, you nasty, creepy, pedophile freak! Go, Taro! No! Good job, Taro! You're under arrest for violation of the nuisance prevention ordinance! Go! Oh, I'm sorry! And so, the man who followed and took pictures of me were taken away by police. You're shivering. I know it was scary. You're okay now. Uh, I... I... I need to pee! Huh? My house is right over there. You can use the bathroom. Huh? Miss Suzami, are you sure? Miss Suzami was kind enough to lend me her bathroom. She even served me tea and snacks. As it turns out, she was yelling so much because she was trying to chase the creepy man away. I'm so sorry! I totally misunderstood you! Hey, it's nothing to apologize about. I think I could have turned down the notch a bit. Dog, touch the dog! Uh, no, you were great. Taro and I were worried about you. You haven't been around lately. I was so scared that creep did something to you. Oh, Mrs. Zami, thank you. Taro, too. Everything said about Mrs. Ami was just rumors. She's a bit unique, but a very nice lady. Apparently, the pedophile had committed many other crimes, and he was sent straight to jail after being found guilty. Thank you for saving my daughter's life. How could I repay you? Come on, I didn't do anything special. After the incident, Mrs. Ami became known as the superhero of our neighborhood. And everyone's attitude towards her changed. I heard about what you did! Azami, you're amazing! Oh, it's nothing. <laughs> you're so modest. Hey, Mrs. Azami. I'm starting middle school today. <laughs> How do I look in my new uniform? Oh my, you are so adorable. If Mrs. Azami hadn't saved me that day, that pedophile could have done something horrible to me. She saved my life. I owe her big. Thank you. My name is Tsutsuji. I'm a university student. Back in high school, 
I was bullied by my fellow classmates. The queen bee's name was Akane. She was in my class. <laughs> oh my god, here comes Miss Gloomy. Everyone makes fun of her every day. But she never skips school and is never late. <laughs> Unbelievable. She's so weird. Maybe she doesn't understand. <laughs> Akane was popular. She had many more friends than I did. A lot of the girls in the class helped her bully me. I'm not strong enough to fight them off. People like Akane would be punished one day. God is watching. Karma will get them. I never told anybody about the bullying, and I eventually graduated high school. I finally found some peace. However, one day... Tsutsuji, I need to tell you. I think I've found the person I want to marry. What? Tokusa, you're still going to school! I'm not getting married right away. I mean when I graduate university. My brother's name is Tokusa. He's great, he's cool, and he's the best brother ever. We're both in the same school activity club. I'm gonna go see her parents soon. So I just wanted to give you a heads up. Oh, okay. Good luck, Tokusa. The next day... Tokusa must be at his girlfriend's house right about now. I hope everything works out for him. Oh? It's from Tokusa. Maybe he finished early. Hello? Tokusa? What's up? Tsutsuji? I'm sorry for the sudden call. Do you have time to come over to my girlfriend's house right now? Huh? Why me? I don't even know where your girlfriend lives. I'm sorry. I'll pick you up at Etra Station. Please come, I'm begging you. Oh, okay. I'll go. Hey, sorry for making you wait. Get in. Tokusa, did something happen? I have to apologize in advance. I'm really sorry for this. What's coming might bring back painful memories. I'm really sorry. Huh? Painful memories? But I never told Takusa about the bullying in high school. We're here. It's a regular house. Why was I called? I brought my sister. Please, open the door. <laughs> it's not me, I swear to God. <gasps> this voice. So, you're saying this isn't your account? You were logged in. If you logged into someone else's account, that's a serious problem. It's illegal. Akane, please tell us the truth. I said I don't know. Akane? Uh, why are you here? Oh, why are you here? Hey, give me that. Tsutsuji. You might get hurt if you see this, but I need to know what happened between you and Akane. No! Give it back! Shut up! That's enough out of you! Uh... Oh my gosh, guess who my boyfriend's little sister is? It's Sisuji. What are the chances? Seriously, that's hilarious. I feel so bad for my boyfriend. They're so different. Maybe they're half-siblings or something. Wait, that means if you get married to him, she'll be your sister-in-law. Poor you. <laughs> well, it's okay, because she'll listen to anything I say. She's so afraid of me. I'll have a personal slave. Earlier on, Akane's sister, Karin, borrowed Akane's computer. She wanted to use Twitter. But when she opened the page, it was still logged into Akane's account. The exchanged messages were just from a few minutes ago. So, it was at the top of the page. Oh, what is this? I've never met Tokusa's little sister, but I need to tell mom and dad about this. And I should tell Tokusa too. And so, I came to meet her parents, and I found out about this. Akane? Eek. You keep saying that you have no idea about what's going on. But do you intend on keeping the act up, even though Tsutsuji is standing here trembling? So tell me, you wrote, She's so afraid of me, I'll have a personal slave! What do you mean by that? Uh, uh. Hmm. 
Can everybody listen for a second? I was bullied by Akane back in high school, when we were in the same class. Th that's a lie! Don't make up stories! I'm not lying. Akane was the queen bee of the group that bullied me every day. They would ignore me, and they would make fun of me. They wrote stuff on my desk. They would hide my stuff. They made me ask a guy out, and I didn't even like him. Suzuki, but you never mentioned anything. Well, I didn't want to worry you. Plus, at the time, I felt like asking for help was a sign of weakness. So you held it all in? But I thought about it a lot. What is strength anyways? Gathering people to pick on a single person, does that make you strong? Was I weak for having to put up with that every day? But there's one thing I'm sure of after seeing your posts. It doesn't matter if you're strong or weak. If you're grown up and you're still talking behind someone's back like this, it means you're trash. So, I will honestly speak up about everything. I was very hurt, and my life was ruined because of you. There is no way I am giving up my brother to a person like you. Tsutsuji. I bet you were so hurt. I should have noticed. I should have been there for you. I'm so sorry. Tokusa, you did nothing wrong. Uh, hey, Tokusa, are you seriously going to take her side? What? <laughs> Don't tell me you actually think the marriage is still on. What? Hey, you got to be joking. You can't break up with me. I'm sorry. I really am. I apologize to Tsuji too. Apologize? <laughs> what will apologizing do after all you've done? You bullied my precious sister. You were planning on making her your slave! No, that's... How can I marry somebody low enough to post such cruel things about my sister on the internet? Don't ever contact me again. D dad Mom! Talk to Dokusa! Karin, please! Weren't you happy about my engagement? Oh, Kane. Mom, you were so excited when you heard about my marriage! <laughs> Mom! I am so sorry. I don't know how to make up for all the pain my daughter has caused you. This is completely our responsibility. I'm horrified. As her parent, we can't let such a daughter get married. What about you? We must have raised her the wrong way. We will take full responsibility and make sure she learns not to hurt anybody anymore. Please forgive us just this once. I'm begging you. D Dad, what the... Akane, put your head down now. Uh. Tsutsuji, I'm sorry for bringing back bad memories today. It's okay. You know, I feel like I can move on now. I see. After that, Tokusa broke it off with Akane and blocked her phone number. We don't know what she's up to these days. Oh, good morning. My brother has become a little passive when it comes to dating and relationships. But I know he'll find the perfect girl someday. Tsutsuji, you have classes today, right? You want to ride? Since I'm heading there too. As for me, I feel like I've gotten rid of all of my burdens and I'm starting a new chapter of my life. Yes, you're the best! <laughs>